Hello, I'm Phil Newbold, President and CEO of Memorial Hospital and Health System. You know, one of the most frequent questions that I often receive is, what's going on with the health care reform and what's Memorial doing about it? Those are great questions. We passed health care reform 2,400 pages long, and we are going to see a lot of changes coming up over the next several years. But boiling all of this down, I'd have you remember just two important points. Number one, we're going to take the 54 million uninsured Americans that are outside the healthcare system, and now we're going to bring them inside the healthcare system. But we're going to bring them in and pay hospitals and doctors a lot less than you might think for covering those. So we're going to have a lot more coverage moving towards universal coverage but we're gonna cover them a little closer to Medicare and Medicaid type of rates, not much higher commercial insurance kinds of rates. So that's the very first thing that's sort of in this legislation. The second thing is we just have to find a way to move away from fee-for-service payment schemes, so every time I do something, I get paid for it, and move towards something called value-based practice, where we pay for outcomes, where we pay for people doing best practices. And so we're moving from volume, doing more, to now paying people to do high-value kinds of medicine. And so with that means we're going to have a lot more reimbursement experiments. So expect over the next several years to have a lot of new experiments coming out of Washington, out of our insurance companies, maybe out of the state, all trying to increase people's awareness of being healthier, create some incentives for people to be efficient and effective in their care, and not have so much of this every time I do something I get paid kind of thinking in terms of our reimbursement. So those two points, everybody being included and having reimbursement experiments encouraging not volume but value are the two major points of health care reform that all of us ought to pay attention to. And so what happens when we have these very, very large kinds of shifts that the health care reform really portends for most of us we tend to underestimate the impact in the short run and we begin to think, well, maybe I can just keep doing this and just keep doing that the way I've always done. And what we forget is we are in store for a huge fundamental change down the road. It's going to take a few years. It's not going to happen overnight. Uh, some things are going to start happening in 2012 and 13 and 14 and 15 and so on. But we have to get ready now for health care reform.